when last we left off with Drago, he had just arrived at the um, High Hrothgar to meet with the Greybeards after traveling a long ways up the mountain with 7,000 steps. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Be afraid, your shout will not harm us. Boof! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. But we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Dro, the second word in unrelenting force. Dro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Dro. Some balanced force. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. 
But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. I take it this bypass is need for a dragon, so... Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bori and he will give you his knowledge of now we will see how quickly we a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X! Wolf! Now, your turn. And next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb 
in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on owning your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkoller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windkoller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That's why they set up way up here. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Wind, guide you. the name by that okay and now to find the horn
So that is interesting right there. And Kenarath gives the ability to learn the language, although difficult, and that language can be withdrawn if abused. And Akatosh also gives it, but binds it to the person in the form of being dragonborn. Making it, instead of world well, learning the language, making it in, I guess, automatic process. Dragonborn are here for a specific purpose, whereas those who learn by Kinneras method have a different path. A much harder one, in fact. Especially if it takes a long time to learn even a simple word. to believe that each of the Greybeards only know a few words. And not many know all three of a word. At least that's just suspicion. It's all demonstrated at least three different words there, or three different sentences, I should say, of about six different words. Whoever tested me on the whirlwind spoke two words, not just one. And you also have the word that created that uh, energy target or what looked like was an energy double being used as target practice. Then of course there is force and balance they used to test me. So I'm wondering how many total words that they know, as well as how many different sentences do they know, or collections of words. Before I go on to collect the horn, there is something I do need to find out here, and that is in relation to how um, whirlwind works. You there? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Oh boy. These guys are looking for a fight.
I can find out something more of So they handled the other cultists too. That flame Antioch is no joke against the Nord. As a Nord, I have defenses against Frost, not as much against Flame. didn't see where the other one fell. that for a moment. Here. So they're both dumb there. It's almost as telling as anything. Cultist orders, okay. They came outside. That suggests I'm going to be going to some part of Mor Morrowind. I do know is that I can use this across flat surfaces, but there was something I saw back down here that suggested I could use it to cross a gap.
And it's true, I can. There is a bit of delay recovery for it. This will be very useful. <laughs> Not as useful. Because basically I'm shouting so that negates its use for stealth. So in terms of stealth, it's not going to be a good workaround. <laughs> and it just might be a good workaround if I am over encumbered. When I return with the horn, I can ask the Greybeards about Mirak. I don't know how to do that in towns. No, I do nothing but unnecessarily frighten people. <laughs> okay, experiment two. Dragon tongue cannot be used underwater <laughs> or in the water, it seems. No, this is good to know. <laughs> as soon as I was out of the water, I immediately triggered. So I may need to be careful of that. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Hmm. 
a little bit too close to the town. It's a reasonable request. So I'm going to get a horse the next time I see one, if I can afford it, so I don't have to rely on using this too much. <coughs> one of the biggest reasons it conflicts with the way of the voice, although that's a separate. thing all together. <laughs> that being Kenneras requirement rather than Akatosh's requirement. I still have Kenneras peace on me, I believe. One interesting thing is that there have been some dragons, rather dragonlings, in earlier games, but nothing on the scale of the two dragons I've faced so far. <coughs> you have a chance of facing dragonlings in Daggerfall. But they're really tiny. <laughs> In terms of size, they're probably the size of a large dog or a small wolf. And closer to the size of a fairy dragon from D and D. Of course, that's a bit smaller. That being the size of a house cat.
I'm almost wondering if a dragon scroll was involved. Or elder scroll was involved. Ugh. Not dragon scroll. <laughs> With the elder scroll she basically can do anything. Although there's a high price for actually using the Elder Scroll, that being blindness. <laughs> but an Elder Scroll would be able to bring the dragons back. Speak the horse. Although I shouldn't speak it anyway, because of the piece of Kinneris. <laughs> Come to think of it, that might have paused that nobleman in his movements. If it means that the animals won't run. So its owner is around here somewhere. <laughs> no telling where it could be the Imperial soldier, I suppose. That's an interesting test. Using whirlwind off a slope doesn't you don't follow the slope itself, you go straight forward. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. That's interesting. Yeah, confirmed. Send you forward in a fast direction, not following anything around it. If I can just get the river wood, I should be able to sell my surplus. <laughs>
This piece of Kinnereth is rather nice. I haven't run into any wolves <laughs> in a while. Dawn looks beautiful. Nighttime as well, since this world has two moons, not just one. Close to Helgen. It does bring one question to mind. Was Jurgen Windcaller a Dragonborn? Or did he obtain his ability <coughs> through Kinnereth? Or Kinnereth's um, blessings? We did found the <laughs> red. This is one good thing. I've used it consistently now, for a while now, with no negative side effects. <laughs> and part of me wonders if the reason why the voice failed him <laughs> because of uh, damage it might do 
talking to a person using learning it the way that Kinneris set it up or gave to people as opposed to actually having the dragon blood in you this may be why the dragonborn, dragonborn doesn't necessarily need to follow the way of the voice as opposed to the people who live the Kinneris method Or with Kinneras blessing. <laughs> so it could be simply if you learned the dragon tongue on your own without it being born in you <coughs> you eventually damage your throat over time through overusing it close to river wouldn't it Likely it's the business is closed, so I'll just spend the night here.
Need a room? Talk to Delphine. All right, then. You're that visitor, Ben. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old War instead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda who said... It's a fine day with oh, you around. Lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. So much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used money, to be. Pour me an ale. Coming right up. Pour me an ale. Coming right up. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from... Hobbes isn't too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Now oh, there he is. You Should me. be starting. We're the up. only people around who aren't complete fools. Thank you so much for t take a look.
All right, then. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Finest weapons and armor. to think about getting a house, maybe. Rorik stands a nice enough little hamlet with a boring posting for a guard. And Rorik said is this down the road from here. Right here. Quite a ways away. Where Lokir came from. Fleet of steeds in all of Skyrim. 
Suppose so. Got one all saddled if he's got the coin. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Ride strong. 